Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Pandemonium. Let me just grab some black concrete while I start this little intro. But hello and welcome. Today we'll be building the saddle tank engine. I had this in a PRR livery. You can do other liveries. But I'm a PRR builder, ignore that. And I just think it looks best in this livery. So let's get straight into it. To begin, we're going to find a spot on the rails. Place another brick slab. Then, depending where you want it, you're going to place it out like that. Break every other one on top of the rail. And on top of the rail, you're going to place your nether brick slabs. With a nether brick fence on top. Now, above that, you're going to place a row. A row across. And then a 2 by 3 behind it. That was a weird glitch. Then on that, you're going to place one back again. One back again. Two slabs underneath. And this will be for the cylinder. Two slabs underneath. And then the normal facing stair. On this back, you're going to place one going forward with an iron trap door in front of it, creating the front of the cylinder. This was this is a very small tank engine, so this should be a pretty quick video. And we're going to place a grindstone on the front, and then we're going to grab some perch fence to create either, well, it would be a number plate in this case, but it could mean other things. Then we're going to get our, where is it, polished andesite block and polished andesite slab, no, I mean staircase, as well as sea lanterns. Stone slabs, stone stairs, regular stone stairs, and then we'll, we'll get back to what we were doing. So you're going to place a T shape here in the front, break the center, that's where you'll put your logo for what company you want it. And we're then going to grab a stone slab in front of this two block tall, which is for the funnel, place a sea lantern and two iron trap doors. Then we're gonna get andesite staircase, polished, not regular. Go upside down and right side up, creating the front of the locomotive. Next, we're gonna run our, well, what would normally be a running board down. Let's grab some back. But before we run that down, we're gonna run the middle back. Actually, let's count this out. I think about 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, run it eleven. It's eleven blocks, and we're gonna make the back three of those eleven. Only the back three. Three wide. Like so. Whoa. Flag. And then we're gonna place above it. On this level, we're going to fill this in all the way back, as well on this side. And then to the third block from the back, so to where it goes out, we're going to run another brick slabs, which this will support the main boiler, which is very large, probably because it's a tank engine. And then on that boiler, we're going to place black concrete on the running board, so you're going to skip the stair and then place it. clean the inside of this up a little bit and then next you're gonna place a staircase facing inward staircase facing inward and place two blocks here one up run this all the way back to the same point then you're gonna run two back black concrete block one slab not polish and slate, black concrete, one slab. Where did I go wrong? The bell. Oh, I see. Okay, apparently it has one of those weird cabs that goes one forward. And we're going to take out this part of the back and grab a bell. Place it here, like this. And we're going to go one up behind it, create a three by three, get another brick slabs, 
place three down. Three down. Now, the saddle tank's kind of, the saddle tank and the are kind of weird. Because of where the wheel is, they can't place this here, so they have to make it a very odd shape. For the bunker to fit. Now, if you wanted to look a little more traditional, which I'll teach you how to build the traditional version, it doesn't look as nice, but I'll show you how to make that change at the end after I've built the entire thing. But we're going to place that roof bit in, and then we're going to grab one block down from the front one, one more block down, three blo two blocks long, then two blocks long, then three blocks long, and and the same. So it looks like this. Then on this, we're going to place one another brick slab, I mean staircase, one upside down another brick staircase, and then a slab. And then a slab. Are we gonna need a banner for this? I think we will. No, no banners for this design. But I'm gonna add them because I must have missed them building it. And we're gonna place. Not there, but here and here. For the windows. Well, the window dividers. And we're gonna build like a wall here. We're also gonna need to get brown dark oak trap doors place them across after we get our coal block and we build this up we're gonna just place them across this crouch and place them on here put them all upwards and you're gonna place one up here and here next we'll grab our black stained glass a and our black stained glass as well as another brick stairs because I got rid of them and slabs because we're gonna need them still. Let's go to slabs and get those again. Now we're gonna place a black stained glass behind it. Place a black stained glass on both sides. The panes on both sides. Then under this, which we have not filled out yet, we're gonna grab our staircase. Place one here one here and one like here and then this creating this little u shape well side to see i guess place two like so grab our slab and then we're going to place it across the back now i'm actually going to give an option for the coupling so you can either use the grindstone or a slab i think the grindstone looks better but you can use slabs i will personally use the grindstone but next we're going to run the nether brick slabs forward, like so. Then next let's basically finish this locomotive off with the wheel casing. Well, the wheels, I should say. So the first wheel is right up against here. And the second one, you can skip two blocks. Skip a block, place it in. It is an 060. This version, I'll be making some more saddle tanks. This is just like your standard 0601 that would use on the higher mountain railways. Well, let's get some iron trapdoors now. We're going to run a single rod all the way to one before the last. And this is going to be with iron trapdoors and also... Oh god, I'm breaking everything. <laughs> what it? How? Okay. Let's go fix whatever I destroyed over here. Oh wow. Destroyed quite a bit. We're gonna run an iron trap for us there. That's the one that needs the slab. You're also gonna grab stone slabs. And you're going to place one on the end side on this rail and one in the middle. And then you're gonna get an upside down stair and place it here and two iron trap doors. Now next we're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side with all the wheels and everything. So we're going to skip two, we'll skip three, sorry about background noise, I can't help that, and then skip, and then do the same on the other side, go upside down, place it, upside down, place it, upside down, place it, place it in, place it in, place it in, go place it on all of these, stop flying please so I can crouch, Not. don't open chat. 
Okay, there we go. Like this. And then like this. And then we're going to place st upside down stone stairs. Four inch trap door. Delete that one. And then place two like that. Next, I'm just going to do the lettering slash numbers. Which is red concrete powder in the front. With a sign. Return PR. Return R. And then we're going to count two blocks in the back, two signs. Then under this, we're going to also place two signs. Then we're going to flip to the other side and place two more signs. And then skip one and place two signs. And that is it for the saddle tank locomotive. Except for one little thing that I just remembered that I never did. Which is, the last thing you're going to do is gonna place these two trap doors here like this and that will finish our prr saddle tank i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe and like the video bye